Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I did a tutorial today on this makeup look I have right now. I used the Morphe 350 palette and I used one shade from the Urban Decay palette. If you're interested in achieving this look, just keep watching. And make sure to like and subscribe. I will be making more videos. Bye. Hey guys, so we're going to start the tutorial today. First I'm just going to pin my hair back because you can tell I have quite a bit of it and you know, it can get in the way. So I might as well just put it away. So today I'm going to start off with the Nivea Men. This is the aftershave balm. I heard a lot of YouTube gurus rave about this, so I decided that I'll give it a whirl. I'll try it out, test it out, see if I like it or not. Just fast forwarded through that, checking if it's tacky or not. <laughs> so next I'm going to be going into my foundation. This is the Studio Fix Fluid from MAC. It is NW15. It is a little bit too dark for me as of right now, so I'm going to be mixing it with the L'Oreal True Match. It is in light ivory, and then it gives me a pretty good color. So first I'm going to dot my foundation on my face, and then I'm just going to take my brush and just smear it all around. As you can tell, I'm kind of like dragging, and then sometimes I pull it but mostly I'm using like a stippling version. So we're just going to skip all of that. Next I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is Maybelline. And my Beauty Blender. Make sure that it's damp. The Maybelline is in the shade light. Just because I am very light right now. I'm doing this in order to cover any dark circles I could have under my eyes. And to kind of like open up my eyes a little bit. You want to make sure that you're putting it in this way that I am applying it right now just because you don't want it to be obvious that you're wearing it. So if you do like a triangle shape, it looks a lot nicer once it's blended out. So now we're just going to blend that out with the Beauty Blender. I'm also going to put some on my eyelids just to kind of prime my eyelids. And you know, sometimes you can have some redness there and I don't like that, so that's why I'm doing that. And I'm just putting it in some spots where I have a little bit more redness or acne or something. I'm not going for a very full coverage today. Next I'm going in with my e.l.f. High Definition Powder and I'm just going to set my whole entire face with this powder. Also another thing that's good about this powder is if you put it all on your face and later if you're using any blush or contour, it's a lot easier to blend them out on your face when you have some kind of a powder setting your foundation. Personally, you can use whatever you want. I know Laura Missy apparently is really good too, but this is what I have, so that's why I'm using it. Next, I'm going in with the Smoked Urban Decay palette. And here I'm going to be using the color Freestyle. Love this color as a transitional color. I'm not sure what other companies have a similar shade to this, but this is my definitely go-to transition color. Over here you can see how I'm applying it to my crease and just kind of like all over my lid. This color you can put up a little bit higher and it's okay because it is a lighter color. I'm doing windshield wiper motions and then I'm kind of swirling. I'm doing the same exact thing on the other eyelid. You just want to make sure that it's nicely blended out. You don't want to have any weird harshness in there. Next I'm going in with the Morphe 350 palette. Finally got my hands on it. I'm so excited. So in this palette, we're going to go in with this medium brown chocolatey shade. This color I'm going to be putting into my crease and as you can tell, I try to keep this color as low as possible just because I don't want to bring it up too high. If I bring it up too high, then my eyes are going to kind of like beat up a bit. 
So remember to try to keep it a little bit on the lower end. And again, I'm doing windshield wiper motions and kind of swirling it. I'm going to be doing the same exact thing on the other eye. I'm just going to fast forward through the other eye just because we are watching it on one eye and we don't really have to watch both eyes. So next we're going to be going in with this darker brown shade. I'm going to be going in with this more, def like, I don't even know how to describe this brush. It's a little bit more of a point to it and it's definitely a lot more dense. And here I'm just trying to put it really into the crease so it cuts it out a little bit more. By the way, the brushes that I am using that have the black handles and the gold, they are from Jessup. I really like these. They're very good quality for the price that I paid for them. I wasn't having that, so I decided to take my e.l.f. blending brush just to kind of move it a little bit more than that one because it wasn't really moving it all around. It was just kind of keeping it in a line. So here I'm trying to blend it out a little bit more, but kind of have it in a line formation. But I wasn't having it. I decided that it looks way too harsh and I need to blend it out. So I'm just going into my Jessup brush and I'm just blending that out more. And we did the same thing to the other eye. Now we're going in with like this goldish color and this is a very shimmery eyeshadow. Now in order to apply this I initially went in with a dry brush trying to apply this and I wasn't really liking it. I kind of wanted it to be more of a foil color so what you can do in order to get a more foil color is you can spray some MAC Fix Plus onto your brush and it'll work wonderfully because Max, MAC Fix Plus has glycerin in it, it helps to have like the sparkle stick on. Personally here I just use the Nivea that I used on my face just because it does have glycerin in it and I don't have any MAC Fix Plus on me right now. It also works so if you need something different you can use something different, it doesn't have to be exactly that. So here I'm applying it on both lids. I'm only applying it to the first one third of the lid. This color is very like orange goldish. So here I'm just, don't mind the mirror. I know it's dirty, but just wanted to pick it up to kind of fix it up a bit. See it from like a straight view how it looks. And just tweaking it up a bit. I'm sorry if the lighting is bad. It's just because I was doing it in front of my window in my apartment. So there's all kinds of weird lighting. Next I'm going to be going in with this burnt copper glittery eyeshadow. And I'm doing the same thing with this. And I'm just showing you that I'm putting it on the middle third of the eyelid. And I did the same exact technique. I just took some of the Nivea Men onto my brush and I dipped it into the eyeshadow and I'm putting it on so it comes out like a foiled eyeshadow. I'm just going to do that on both eyelids. And that's what it's going to look like. Next I'm going to be going back in with that dark brown color and I'm just going to be fixing up any harsh lines that I got with the sparkly eyeshadow just because you don't want it to be so obvious where that eyeshadow ends and where the matte eyeshadows start. So if you just reapply some more of your dark shadow that you had on top you can make it blend nicely and you get a nice transition from one to the other and it's almost like perfect.
By the way, I swear both eyes are the same color. It's just that I have an extra window on the right side, so it's a lot brighter on that side. Now I'm going to be going in with both of those glitters once again, and I'm going to be applying it on my bottom lash line. I'm going to put it in real tight to the lower lash line. And again, the goldish one I'm just going to be putting on the first one third of the lash line. And then on the middle third, I'm going to be applying the burnt copper color. I actually then decided to apply the burnt copper color all the way to the end just because it's going to look better. Next I'm going in with that dark brown color that I was using previously and I'm just going to be blending out the lower lash line a little bit just to smoke it out a bit because I don't like it to look too too bare. As you can see there's a pretty big difference between the smoked one and the one that's not smoked out. Now we're just going to do the same thing to the other side. Next I'm going to be going in with a cream colored eye crayon. You can use an like a pencil as well. I just don't have a pencil on me right now. I have this crayon and I'm going to be applying that to my lower waterline. This is going to help to kind of open up my eyes a little bit. I decided that this was going to be a better option than applying a black eyeliner just because my black eyeliner does like to leak on me. Plus my eyes are already so bold. Might as well just kind of open them up a little bit. Next I'm going to be applying mascara. I did not curl my lashes today. Sometimes I curl them, sometimes I don't. I find that my lashes are pretty long as they are even without curling them so a lot of times I'll just go without curling them. Oh and I am using the Maybelline Colossal Volume. This is literally one of my favorite mascaras ever. It gives you so much beautiful volume. Now we're just gonna quickly go through that. Next we're gonna be doing my eyebrows. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil. It's in the color light brown. <laughs> Don't mind me, I was listening to Spotify so I was jamming out to some music. Now I'm just going to be starting from my right eyebrow and I do like hair like strokes just so that it looks the most natural. And I basically fill in in spots where I don't have as much hair. I don't really do everything crazy precise and like drawing new brows. I just fast forward through all that just because it is pretty boring. Next I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone. Here I'm just using the L'Oreal True Match to highlight. Yes, normally you would want to use an eyeshadow, but I don't want anything that would be glittery or sparkly. Plus, my L'Oreal is light enough that I can use it as a brow bone highlight. So I just did it on both sides and I'm just showing you what it looks like, the finished products of my eyes. Next I'm going in with my e.l.f. contour. I'm not really contouring today. I'm honestly just trying to warm up my face a little bit because I am looking pretty white. It is winter time. So I'm just dusting it kind of messy all over my cheeks and my forehead. I'm not making precise lines, but I'm doing them in pretty precise areas, if that makes sense. 
my nose got itchy. <laughs> I'm just gonna just do some on my neck as well. Next, I'm going to be going in with my MAC blush. This is blush all day. Just going to be applying that to the apples of my cheeks. I'm sorry if you can hear my aquarium in the background, by the way. <laughs> the water's just running in it. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Now I'm going to be going in with Becca's highlight. This one's by Jaclyn Hill, Champagne Pop. I absolutely love this highlight. I do not regret buying it. So I'm just going to be applying that to the tops of my cheekbones on both sides. I know that this also isn't a highlight brush, but that's what I use. And I just did it down the bridge of my nose a little bit. Next, I'm applying some on the top of my lip. Now I'm going to be applying NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick. Yeah, liquid lipstick. This is in the color Cookies and Tea. I'm just going to fast forward through this just because it does take a long time. And now we're all set with the makeup. That's the finished look. Honestly, you can do whatever kind of lip you want. I just happened to have a baby pink right next to me, so I just grabbed it to go put it on. Next, I'm going to be using a setting spray. This is the Urban Decay setting spray. Um, it is the oil control one. It's not the full size. I was just testing this one out just because I've never really used a setting spray before. Remember to fan out your face and don't move it while it dries so all your makeup doesn't move. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Here I added in a little more shots of what the makeup looks like and a little bit of a different lighting. Comment below if you liked it or not. Like, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.